John Cairn, St Finbar goalkeeper, your Munster champion. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, it's massive. Um, look, it's 36 years since we last won the Munster Championship. Um, we're just absolutely over the moon to have won today. Um, stacks, to be fair to them, gave a massive effort. Uh, put us under serious pressure at times, um, particularly in the third quarter and there in the last five minutes. Um, but we're just absolutely delighted to get over the line. You were motoring so well in that first half. You were six points clear at half-time. Six six out of seven scores, I think, the last six out of the last seven scores in, the, in that first half. You must have been buzzing at half-time. Um, I wouldn't say buzzing, but we kind of knew we were on top. Um, but I think all year, the third quarter has kind of been our, um, our weak point. Um, so we've kind of let teams back into the into games, particularly in the third quarter. Um, and you know, stacks stacks put us under massive pressure there. I think they got to win in, win at a point there at one stage. Um, so like there was a few harsh words said during the, the water break at the end, or the second half water break. Um, and thankfully, look, we just pulled through in the end. I think our character kind of shone through there with the likes of McGuire and Cummins and Hannigan coming back there to, to clear up the square with the threat of Danny. Yeah, Ian McGuire feels the ball straight after that second half water break and you get a point through Brian Hayes as a settler because you hadn't scored and you were taking wild shots and uh, wild passes and what's it like being the goalkeeper and there's this siege coming towards you and the momentum has completely switched and Greg Horn kicked two brilliant balls Quilter's buzzing around Donny's around the square How are you feeling there? Are you trying to uh, urge a bit of calmness in the lads or what are you trying to do? Um, I suppose I'm just trying to hit my targets um, so I suppose once the ball leaves my foot it's up to the lads to pin win it they, give, they obviously give me the targets with the runs that they make so um, yeah it, it's probably the most pressure I've been under in terms of stacks with their, their full court press I suppose the, the basketball defence that um, Danny he'd be well capable of doing he's, he's the lads well drilled there um, I know actually he'd be a big basketball town as well so you could see the way they were set up they were, they were looking to do the full court press as much as they could and they did put us under serious pressure on the kick off What are you seeing there when that full court press is on the third um, quarter? I think I think they had four in the full forward line four in the full or in the half forward line and I think at one stage their keeper was to press on R45 nearly, nearly their 65 even. Um, so you're seeing the full 15 in front of you and you're trying to pick that pocket of space that isn't there. Um, and look, even going in just after the water break and where he came up with the ball that needed to be won. And you know, if he wins it and he turns, the likelihood is we're probably going to get a score off it. Like, so yeah, it's ideal. he's an ideal player to play with when he's winning the ball at team. And then just after that, Sean Quilder's throwing goal. And uh, I don't even know how the ball got into his hands, but he, he's won a moment yet, and you make the save. It was a monstrous moment in that game because if Stacks get that, they're a point up to score that goal, um, and you end up, you know, winning the ball back, keeping it for a few minutes, and Shields lays it on for Denny, and it looks like it's a settler then. But that save with a couple of minutes to go, are you able? Are you thinking when that ball is, is coming in, you're one on one? Um, I suppose yeah. He's a left legger, so I'm a cross goal. So I'm thinking, is he going to go to my right? But knowing, knowing that he's cute enough, he'll probably go to my left. So I'm trying to contort my body back to where he's aiming. Um, and look, luckily, I kind of set myself that bit and when it suited. Um, and just, just control it, I suppose, to a point that I could actually cover back and just get a, a left hand to it and push it out. You've been on some journey this year. You obviously had that crazy penalty shootout win against Castlehaven. You, you know, the, the, the tight final win against Tana Kilty. What's the atmosphere like following this team around? Because I, I couldn't believe it. I thought I knew the Rockies would bring a you know a show to bring a show on the road. I, I was kind of surprised. I don't know why I was by Ali Le Bleu being sung around and all the noise coming out of the bar support. It seems like a right uh, atmosphere around this team. Yeah, um, to be fair, even looking at the crowd there today, um, I'd say we outnumbered them. Was it 60 40 maybe? Uh, which was surprising. Like we were outnumbered against their all down the parking ring or pretty much our home packs. Like. Um, so a, a massive turnout I suppose the microphone or the megaphone and uh, the lads and the drums kind of helps uh, keep the atmosphere going to be fair to them um, but yeah I suppose we're in bonus territory so the bandwagon is going to keep rolling for another couple of weeks anyway hopefully thanks John best of luck in the semi-final